Okay, great. So here I have the list of the Wi-Fi firmware that we need to install in order to make sure that we'll be working on most Wi-Fi's. So here, this firmware section is, is actually uh, the essential part, like uh, what we need to install uh, from the list. The, the, if, you, if you can't say exactly what is here in this list, well, I can show you, but uh, I'll provide the list in the description below the video, so no worries, you, you'll get the list. And one more thing, uh, previously I also added this blacklist PC speaker, because otherwise when you press tab, sometimes it, you know, it like, uh, sound, sounds like with the annoying beep that I'm just jumping over my chair because it's so loud on my laptop, so I just disable this as well. So another uh, boot code that uh, I've added. Anyways, so this... Uh, dependencies are the most essential and the, the they are really enough to actually make Wi-Fi working and also I want to install Python for instance uh, pip and git maybe maybe some other packages but uh, in order to show you how we can uh, load the packages when we already build our system and then we're gonna be persistently uh, storing them and we're gonna be loading them later on so uh, here I'll stop with uh, uploading just uh, yeah just downloading just the most essential ones and then from within the tiny core itself the version that we're building we're going to be adding some more packages like python and git python pip and maybe maybe a couple more okay so here click next uh so scm extensions i'm not using those it's another type of extensions supported by tiny core linux but i just don't use them so open terminal window to make sure that whatever happens in the installation we see this so now it just does the job we need to wait a little bit all right so again uh, this is just this, the shell script so we have this nice graphical interface for a shell script so we could have used we could have done this from from within the shell script itself and yes the forums on the book uh, core book it's all it's all available on how to do this, and uh, you obviously don't need to uh, you don't need to manually select those packages. You can just uh, bulk pass them to to the script. Anyways, so now we're ready to create the ISO. So let's create the ISO. All right. And next thing we will do, we'll reboot and then we'll burn this newly created ISO and I can probably even show you how that ISO is going to be is going to look like in uh, in a QEMU but it doesn't make much sense because my QEMU doesn't have uh, I think doesn't emulate the Wi-Fi the wireless device it's not really there much on the car so yeah it's really better it's really better to show this on the real hardware so there won't be this fancy GUI so we're going to be working entirely from the command prompt and this is going to be really cool it takes time but once it once it's done we then going to be able to so this this newly created iso to be actually burnt in the usb flash drive, flash drive. another important thing so currently um it actually it writes the iso to the random access memory in the temp uh, folder here so we need to make sure before rebooting we need to make sure that we actually to copy this somewhere okay and yes iso created successfully and we have this one so we can click exit great so now uh, if we just yeah, if we just reboot then actually <laughs> it's not going to be that great so we'll lose our work so i'm going to the terminal and i'm going to I want to say CP. Uh, well, actually, let's say first LS temp um, easy remaster easy. Uh, you just heard this horrible bit. That's that's the one that annoys me so much. I'm just afraid of this. So I, I've disabled this horrible bit. Um, actually, I saw like this. Yes, so now we can copy so CP this ISO to um, let's copy to, to this exact USB flash drive. So we can say mount SDB and 
let's call it custom. Actually, um, I'm, I'm going to be calling this Python Linux, so I just call it Python Linux. So, so this is my custom distribution. All right, so what? Oh, that's probably because I already have one there. Um, okay, so just, just for the purity of uh, the exercise, so let's call it like custom. Let's call it custom core. Because, yeah, uh, for some reason, uh, I'm not quite sure why they didn't, didn't remove this from the USB flash drive. Yeah, let's call it custom core. What? It's a little bit strange. Hold on a sec. Mm. Oh, maybe I just need to be suited to do this. Okay, now this seems like it works. So let's go to mount sdb and ls. Yeah, here are my Python X. Yeah, it, it wasn't there. It just I just needed to be suited to to make this operation. So now this Python X, I can I could have even mount this to show you, but no, no much reason for that. So now finally we can save the reboot. So just say sudo reboot, and here we go. And now just I'll get back to you from desktop recording.